is to be thankful, Lord, just tonight for this whole month of July, Lord. We are so blessed, oh God. We are so blessed that our lives are in your hands, oh God. And we just really want to be thankful, Lord God, that you've called us by name. It is not an accident that we're here tonight, oh God. You have called us by name because you have chosen us to be your sons and daughters. And Lord, who are we to praise you? We who we think we are merely mortals, oh God. But in your eyes, dear God, we are precious. We are your beloved, oh God. And we thank you, dear God, that you even had to let your son live his throne room for us. And this we are thankful, oh God.
you for your goodness. Thank you for the perfect plan that rules our lives. Amen. Good evening, everyone. The Lord's Word is like NDRM, ano? NDRRMC's alerts. Gano'n na salita ng Diyos, di ba? Nanggugulat. Kahit tulog tayo, nanggigising salita ni Lord. Pero He gives us valuable input to, to give us and keep us safe. Amen? So invite the Lord to speak to you, to alert you tonight, to give you a message that you will need to continue on and to be safe and to rule your world. Amen? So please turn to the person beside you and tell them, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy you're here. Hallelujah. Welcome to family. This is a safe place. This is a home. We invite you to spend your Thursday nights with. And we invite you to really just allow God to speak to your hearts. We continue tonight and we actually end our news feed series. Who was here the first three talks? Raise your hands. Sige, talk one. Who was here in talk one? Raise your hands. Amen. That was a beautiful talk. Talk two. Sino yung nandito na may sumayaw sa stage? Hindi ako yun. And who was here last week? Ito ang tanong. Who is here this week? Wow, hindi lahat. <laughs> Be present. <laughs> we're gonna continue and we're gonna end our news day, our news feed series. Tonight's talk is entitled, uh, well, this is a series about connections, about connecting, about connecting online and blessing our digital world, but also connecting offline and blessing our relational world, the relationships we have around us. So tonight's topic is a big day. It's entitled, sur- surprise, live life offline. Tell the person beside you, live life Offline. You actually see this, the whole series, it's here. You're able to see this. Uh, you're able to be blessed. And so, tonight's topic is very exciting. Ako, ako mismo na excited ako. Because it's a very, it's a topic very close to my heart. Let's start off by praying our favorite prayer here. Lagi na bubulol sa ganong statement. Try nyo mabilis. Let's start by praying our favorite prayer at the feast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word, so I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. Because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor the Lord by lifting our hands towards the Bible and singing. Speak a special message into our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Just to give you a brief summary, talk one, we talked about hashtag no filter. Say that. No filter. We learned about opening up. The message of no filter is open up. Sometimes we hide behind our filtered profiles, our posts that they don't, people don't see the real us and the real us doesn't get blessed. So we learned to open up, to select people in our lives so that they can share our burdens and so that we can be blessed. Talk to us about envy. Say envy. We learned and talk to how that there's more where that came from. That hindi natin kailangan hindi tayo kailangan mainggit sa mga post na iba, yung mga post ng vacation travel pics nila, yung mga relationship status nila. Minsan nakakainis, pero minsan nakakainggit and it eats us up. So we learn through talk to na dapat you should be happy with what you have because God's gonna bless more of that. Amen? Talk to last week, we talked about God post. Say God post. And in this talk, we learned that God's post, we should choose one voice. I mean, it's all the voices that scream at us every day, every second in social media. We got to curate and check through the clutter and listen to the one voice that will really guide us. Tonight's topic is entitled, Live Life Offline. And my one big message for you is simple. Before that, sino sino addicted to social media? Raise your hands. Ako, I'd like, I can admit, actually, naya pa kayo, plastic. Most of us and some of us who did not raise their hands, but I think they are, 
are kind of like addicted to social media. And so tonight, we're going to learn how to live life offline, to unplug. My one big message for you tonight is to disconnect, to deeply connect. Say that. Sometimes we're connected so much, but in reality, it does not really do us good because mali pala yung connections. So tonight, we'll learn how to disconnect so that we can deeply and truly connect. So sa mga addicts sa social media there, I have a few memes that I will show na mukhang, I think you can relate. Meme number one. May totong business ganito sa New York. Can you see it? I'll describe it for those in the back. There's a guy wearing a, a vest saying, Seeing eye person. Di ba may seeing eye dog sa mga bulag? Ito seeing eye person may leash at nasa likod niya isang tao na nasa phone. Because nababanga siya, you hire someone, this is a real business in, the, in New York. You hire someone to walk in front of you para mag-guide ka, para hindi ka mabunggo sa poste or hindi ka masagasahan ng bus sa New York. So, umabot na ba tayo sa... Pang, ng, sino sa inyo na bangga na dahil sa phone nila? Raise your hands. Aminin. Second meme. Let's see this. Basahin ko. I'm having people over later to stare at their phones. If you want to, stop by. Sino sa inyo sanay sa ganyan? Kumakain kayo together in a restaurant. All of you are not talking to each other. All of you are on your phones. Perhaps talking to each other on your phones. Or talking to someone else far away. Ito meme number three. Pero before we flash this, sana hindi naman tayo umabot. Sa ganito. But I think all of us, or some of us, or most of us are already like this. Let's see that. May ganyan na ba sa atin? We're so much into social media, into our gadgets. Na, ganyan na itsura natin. Hindi, may stiff neck. Actually, hindi, wala tayong stiff neck. Stiff neck natin pag tumayo na. Kasi default natin, nakabend na tayo. Social media is good. There are lots of good things in social media. In this whole series, we talked about the good of social media. But the reality is there's lots of damage that social media can do if we are addicted to it. Tama? So through tonight's talk, as we end this series, may you be blessed and that you would learn how to unplug, to disconnect when it's necessary so you can you really live life and live it offline. We were trying to check, the builders were trying to check, wala naman Bible verse about social media, di ba? Wala namang Facebook post na thou shalt not post thy, uh, thy bikini pics on Facebook. Eh. Wala, di ba? Walang Isaiah, whatever. But I found one. Not directly related to social media, but related to the core of the message of social media. Let's read this verse together. It's from 2 John 1.12. I have much to write to you, but I do not want to use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to visit you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be complete. Wow, pwede. Pwede, no? We so much converse, connect, relate to people online through paper and ink sometimes that we fail to meet persons face to face. We, may to, we, we fail to connect offline. Through tonight's talk, may you realize that face-to-face -face beats FaceTime anytime. Amen? That offline is still the best way to spend relationships, build bridges, and build friendships. That your joy will be complete not when you write someone or post to someone or PM someone or viber someone, but when you're, when you're with them, in front of them, enjoying their company. Amen? Father, speak to us tonight. Give us a powerful message, Lord, so that we can truly be blessed by social media and remove us from the addictions so that our relationships around us will start to flourish again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing that song again. Give the Lord a round of applause. You can take your seats. Thank you, Miss Anne. Thank you, Worship Ministry. May crush up sa worship leader.
All right. First of all, welcome to Feast Makati Legaspi. Please turn to someone beside you that you do not know and give your name, your PIN code, and your wish list. All right. Now, <laughs> meet someone. Come on, talk to someone or give a high five to someone na hindi nyo kalala. May they experience God's love through your warmth. May they be blessed as you are blessed. All right. Okay, welcome to Feast Legaspi. First of all, is, are there any first-timers in this feast? If you're a first-timer in this feast, can you stand up, please? We'd love to welcome you. We'd love to say hi. Welcome. Welcome. If you have not been in this feast for a year at your back, please stand up as well. My returnees, welcome. Later, we'll give you a special gift on the right side. Later, after the feast, we have a special message and special gift to you there. All right. Live life offline. The first part, pa lang, talk na yun. Pwede na yun. The lesson we learned is beautiful. Disconnect. To deeply connect. Social media can be so helpful, dama. The reality is... Tonight we're going to have, sorry, the reality is we're so much connected, but ironically, it actually disconnects, dis disconnects us more. Tonight we're going to have our big day special. Sino sino na attend before ng mga big day special dito sa feast? Napapatsin yung laging iba. Tonight is a different from the different big day special that we normally have. Nung, nung bata ko, nung school days namin, I love it whenever the teacher would say, Oh, on Monday next week, we will have a film showing. Wow! Tungtuwa kami kasi alis kami sa classroom namin na ayaw ko mag, ayaw, 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 ayaw ko mag-aral. We'd walk to the theater, the air-conditioned theater, kasi walang aircon yung classrooms namin, and we'd watch a film. Tonight, we're gonna have a film showing. We will have more film than me. So we will watch search, kasi social media. So syempre, social media. We're gonna watch things that will bless us as we go along through the talk. So social media can be so helpful. It is used to, you can use social media to spread goodness, di ba? To update your friends. A lot of times, pag nakikita kami ng barkada na matagal na kami hindi nakikita, hindi na kami, oh, ano nangyari sa'yo? We know each other's what happens already. It's also used to cheer up people. If a lot of, if there's someone in, that you know that feels depressed, that feels down, social media is a good way to know what they're ha what's happening and to cheer them up. But the thing is, it contains a lot of dangers. And these dangers can really rob you of your life sometimes, and of your relationships, and even of your sanity. There are three dangers I want to talk about tonight in social media. There are three dangers that I hope we can avoid, because this is what social media can do to us. First, number one, the danger is social media is artificial. Say artificial. Parang aspertame ang social media. Artificial. We will, um, a lot are depressed because they see friends. Sino sino ganon? They see friends living a fantastic life. They see friends that they are going to Bali, Indonesia. Ikaw balikan ka lang ng uwian. A lot of people say, wow, grabe, buti pa siya. ganda ng ano niya. Bakasyon niya. Galing ng relationship. Ganun, ah, may bagong kotse ako. Kadilak siya ako, kadilakad lang. It so much robs us sometimes of appreciating what we have. But the reality is a lot of people who post online these good things are just posting the good things about life. Pero marami pala silang masasamang hindi nangyari, not going their way as well. And sometimes we compare our lives with their highlights, not realizing pare-pareho lang pala tayo. Let's start our first film showing by watching this video. Woke up like this. Good morning.
30-kilometer bike ride done. Getting organized. Hashtag clear desk. Super healthy breakfast. New man. Hashtag juice cleanse. Filter, yeah, filter. Hashtag effortless selfie. I love spending quality time with these guys. Hashtag good. Big night ahead. Looking fab, gorgeous, hot, 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 wowzers. I'm super jealous right now. Stay. Slay, I love you. Can I come? You're my queen. Oh, heart, my man, XXX, hashtag relationship goals, hashtag bay. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Relate? Sometimes we post what is just a fabrication of who we are not realizing that what we really are is hiding and behind the filter, behind the reality. My message here is it, it's, it happens. But sometimes people who see these things feel that they need to also do something to attain that, to post something like that. It's a vicious cycle. My message is pursue an interesting life instead of presenting. Oh, sorry, let's read that. Pursue an interesting life instead of projecting you have one. Instead of focusing your energies on showing through a filter an interesting life that you pretend you're having, focus your energies on pursuing life, living your life, making friends, going out with your friends and talking to them. Instead of projecting something you're not, why don't you just focus on becoming something that's interesting to post about? Put your energies on building a fulfilled life. Get out more. Live life more. Explore more. Pursue more. Number one is artificial. Number two is about social media. One, number, the second danger is social media is anti-social. It's ironic. Social media nga eh. But the funny thing is, instead of making us more social... We become more antisocial because of social media. Let's watch this second video. Uh. 
Parang katawan ko lang yan. Komu říkáš, že byla? Já vrátku jde. Konečně máme čas pro sebe. Finally, we got time for us. Udělám si selfie. Jo, dobrý. So sorry for some of the French words. <laughs> the explic. All right, cut. All right, relate. <laughs> Sometimes we project again who we want to be, and and realize instead of focusing on coming up with that image, why don't we just build ourselves? This is one thing I want to leave you with, and probably the most important verse you will get from me: Live for the moment. Instead of the memma. Gets nyon. Live for the moment. Who knows what memma is? Memma sabe. Memma post. Some people, they do things because para may ma post sila. They don't really live that moment. When, when my wife and I, when we go abroad, we have, I, I personally have to turn off the, the vlogger mentality in me to take photos and look at the views through my small screen. Live for the moment and enjoy life. Instead of doing it, para lang may post kang maganda. Tell the person beside you, wag kang mema. Live for the moment. Like in the example a while ago, when you're dining with friends, enjoy that friendship. Live, enjoy, laugh. Instead of all being on your phones, if you're out, with, if you're working out, work out. <laughs> Instead of taking a photo and to show the world that you are working out, if you are going out with on a vacation, enjoy the vacation. Live for the moment, and don't do it para lang may post ka, para lang may masabi ka. Experience life as it happens. Don't do stuff just for the sake of posting something. Two weeks ago, my wife and I, we went to Hillsong Conference. And I, I made it a point to start. Siyempre, we're all guilty of this. But I started taking less photos live and enjoying the moment. I took one, two, three videos, and I'm done. I was listening. I was enjoying the moment. I was worshiping. It's hard because I, by nature, if you know me, I post on time, real time. I'm going to give you a statement that is against me. And people who do this, actually, dati na inis ako sa kanila. For now, I see the logic. Ready? Flash it. It's okay to hashtag late post. Sometimes we take a photo, then we post it. Hashtags, anong magandang caption, na wala na yung ibang moment. If you really want to enjoy the moment, enjoy the moment. If you want to capture it, take a photo, put it in your bag, hide your phone. And later on, pag wala ka nang ginagawa, nasa bahay ka na, dun may post. 
Masakit sa akin to eh. Kasi ako, real-time stories. I post, but I had trained myself. I'm trying to train myself to late post so that you can talk with your wife on over, the, over dinner so that you can enjoy a concert. Nakakato, maraming concert. Ang view ganito eh. Back ng phone na nasa harap mo, di ba? So live for the moment, not for the mema. Photograph if needed, but post later. Cherish the moment. Cherish laughing with friends. Enjoying the time together. Live life offline. Live life large. Instead of living it small and seeing it through your screen. Tell the person beside you, live for the moment. And wag kang mema. Danger number three. Social media. So number one, what's number one first? Social media is artificial. Number two, social media is I know, sorry? Anti-social. Number three, and this is the worst thing of all, and the dangerous thing. Social media is addicting. Let's watch this video. We know that engagement with social media and our cell phones releases a chemical called dopamine. That's why when you get a text, it feels good. Right? So, you know, we've all had it where you're feeling a little bit down or feeling a little bit lonely. And so you send out 10 texts to 10 friends, you know, hi, 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 hi. Because <laughs> it feels good when you get a response, right? Right? It's why we count the likes. It's why we go back 10 times to see if, and if it's going, if our, my Instagram is growing slower, I would, I, I, did I do something wrong? Do they not like me anymore, right? The, the trauma for young kids to be unfriended, right? Because we know when you get it, you get a hit of dopamine, which feels good. It's why we like it, it's why we keep going back to it. Dopamine is the exact same chemical that makes us feel good when we smoke, when we drink, and when we gamble. In other words, it's highly, highly addictive, right? We have age restrictions on smoking, gambling, and uh, alcohol, and we have no age restrictions on social media and cell phones, which is the equivalent of opening up the liquor cabinet and saying to our teenagers, hey, by the way, this adolescence thing, if it gets you down. <laughs> but that's basically what's happening. That's basically what's happening, right? That's basically what happened. You have an entire generation that has access to an addictive, numbing chemical called dopamine through social media and cell phones as they're going through the high stress of adolescence. Why is this important? Almost every alcoholic, discovered alcohol when they were teenagers. When we're very, very young, the only approval we need is the approval of our parents. And as we go through adolescence, we make this transition where we now need the approval of our peers. Very frustrating for our parents, very important for us, it allows us to acculturate outside of our immediate families into the broader tribe, right? It's a highly, highly stressful and anxious period of our lives, and we're supposed to learn to rely on our friends. Some people, quite by accident, discover alcohol and numbing effects of dopamine to help them cope with the stresses and anxieties of adolescence. Unfortunately, that becomes hardwired in their brains. And for the rest of their lives, when they suffer significant stress, they will not turn to a person, they will turn to the bottle. Social stress, financial stress, career stress, that's pretty much the primary reasons why an alcoholic drinks, right? What's happening is because we're allowing unfettered access to these dopamine-producing devices and media, Basically, it's becoming hardwired, and what we're seeing is as they grow older, they, too many kids don't know how to form deep, meaningful relationships. Their words, not mine. They will admit that many of their friendships are superficial. They will admit that their friends, that they don't count on their friends, they don't rely on their friends, they have fun with their friends, but they also know that their friends will cancel on them as something better comes along. Deep, meaningful relationships are not there because they never practice the skill set, and worse, they don't have the coping mechanisms to deal with stress. So when significant stress starts to show up in their lives, they're not turning to a person, they're turning to a device, they're turning to social media, they're turning to these things which offer temporary relief. We know, the science is clear, we know that people who spend more time on Facebook suffer higher rates of depression than people who spend less time on Facebook, right? These things balanced. Alcohol is not bad, too much alcohol is bad. Gambling is fun, too much gambling is dangerous. Right? There's nothing wrong with social media and cell phones. It's the imbalance. Right? If you're sitting at dinner with your friends and you're texting somebody who's not there, that's a problem. That's an addiction. If you're sitting in a meeting with people you're supposed to be listening to and speaking and you put your phone on the table 
face up or face down, I don't care, that sends a subconscious message to the room that you're, not just, you're just not that important to me right now, right? That's what happens. And the fact that you cannot put it away is because you are addicted, right? If you wake up and you check your phone before you say good morning to your girlfriend, boyfriend, or spouse, you have an addiction. And like all addiction, in time, it'll destroy relationships, it'll cost time, and it'll cost money, and it'll make your life worse. Let's give the Lord a round of applause. The first step to admitting or to healing is to admitting if you are wrong. Sino sa inyo addicted sa social media? Dumami na. So the beauty of it, of what we're going to learn tonight, is it's not too late. You can still unplug. God can still heal you and help you balance out your, your social media intake so that you live life truly. Narinig yung speaker? Sabi niya, whenever you receive a notification, a like, a comment, if someone likes what you did, double clicks your Instagram post, it releases a chemical inside you called dopamine. And dopamine is the chemical that makes people addicted to smoking, drinking, and gambling. So, social media is addicting. And imagine yung mga bata, they're exposed to that drug of social media without people warning them. Unlike kung smoker ka na bata, mahalata eh. So be careful because we normally turn to social media to feed our addiction. May kilala ba kayo na pag nag-post siya, linalike niya yung sarili niyang post? Yun, at dopamine kasi yun eh. Guilty. <laughs> dopamine is addicting. Dopamine is damaging. The funny thing is, we're prisoners to our own phones. May meme nga. It says, let's see this. I finally realized that people are prisoners of their phones. That's why it's called cell phones. Do something about it. Don't say, nako, I'm hopeless. This talk is an eye-opener, but it just tells me like, sige, wala na akong magagawa. I, I know it's a problem. But tonight's message is, do something about it. Now you know that it can damage your life. Do something about it. Start breaking free. Declare it like the cute cats on, on the internet. I want to, be, to break free. Sino mahilig sa kitten videos? I want to break free. Why do we connect so much online? Ang tanong, why do we want to connect online? Sometimes it's because our offline world is not nice. And at least when you're online, you see people, you're entertained by people's lives. Not knowing na minsan yung buhay nila pala ay mas masama kaysa sa'yo, mas okay ka pa pala. Some because we need the feel to connect to all our friends. And we need to update all our friends on all that is happening to us. Ang tanong, who among you, or sino sa inyo, or ilan sa inyo ang may 1,000 friends sa Facebook? Raise your hands. You know your count? Sino sa inyo, hula nyo lang 1,000? Uh, ano yung I mean? At, umabot sa 1,000. Ako na-check ko kanina kasi I prepared a stock, so I had a chance to check. My friends on Facebook is 2,500. Konti lang yun. Because I know a lot of people who exceeded the limit. Ano yung limit sa Facebook? 5,000 friends. So people say, wow, I am so popular. I have 2,500 friends. I have 5,000 friends. The limit, marami, marami gusto mag-friend. Di ko na ma-friend. But are those 5,000 people really friends? How many friends can you really connect to? There's this British anthropologist. His name is Robin Dunbar. He came up with a study. It's a very beautiful and revealing study. So he calls it the Dunbar number. Dunbar's number. Let's read this. Robert Dunbar, a uh, Robin Dunbar, he said, humans can comfortably maintain only, ilan? 150 stable relationships. Ilang friends nyo ulit? Ako, 2,500. Ibig sabihin, I can only really connect and maintain stable relationships with 150 of the 2,500 friends I have there. Some of the friends that I have pa are not online. May mga lola ako na wala naman silang Facebook. So instead of connecting so much online to increase your friends count, why don't you just focus on growing the 150 friends 
that are really in your area. These 150 friends are the friends that you can, when you see in a coffee shop and you say, let's have coffee, sige, let's have coffee. Yun yung mga friends, hindi lang sila acquaintance na hindi mo sila kilala. Out of 150 friends, 50 are the estimated number of good friends you have. So nagbibilang na kayo, o nga, 50 nga. Out of the 50, 15 are, are part of your best beshies, your best buds. Yung tipong pwede mong isama, kunyari may problema ka. And out of the 15, 5 are what you call your intimate friends who know the real you, who are your confidants, who you can really share to. The reason why I say this is because sometimes we're so much involved in broadcasting to social media, to our 5,000 friends, what's happening in our life, that we fail to prioritize the 150 friends that we really have. This scientist said 150 friends is all our brain can take. If I have more than 150 people in my life, sasabog na utak ko. He did experiments, he researched. Nung nalaman niya yon, he started researching. O nga, no? mga village ng unang panahon, mga 150 number nila. Companies who really grow are those who are 150 less. Pag lumaki na yung kumpanya, hindi, mo na, hindi na makakita ng boss yung iba at nag-disintegrate company. Even churches that are more than 150, hindi mo na matututukan isa't isa. Ilan tayo dito? We're less than, we're, I think we're exactly 150. Yes. May bunga pala yung number natin, yes. So I love it because I can get to see you, you get to see me, we get to mingle with one another. So my message is, let's see this next slide. Swipe. Work on fortifying your old connections versus finding more online connections. Some people, they forget their true friends because they have more fun on social media with their non-friends with their 2,500 friends who you will never be able to talk to if you have a problem. They may be your fans, but they're not your friends. So instead of focusing on building an online presence, disconnect and spend time with the friends that you already have. Your barkadas, your, your classmates, your feast mates. That's why if you're watching with us online, we thank you for watching. But may this only be a temporary thing. May you come here one day, if you can physically be here and you're not abroad, so that you can experience friendship here and not just connect via information. So work on building your 150 closest friends. Magbilang na kayo. Ah, sige nito. Oh, sige nito. Ah, sige nito. Amen? Because this is what will make you happy. This is what will give you joy. This is what you can only take. Anything other than that, sasabog ka na. So now we learned from the three dangers of social media. You want to know the solutions? Say yes louder. Medyo manakabingin masyado. Now, after the three dangers we've learned, let's find three ways that social media can bless us. There are three ways that social media can still bless you. Again, we're not declaring through this whole series na masama ang social media. Alis na tayo. Disconnect tayo fully. We're saying let's connect more offline, but we'll still connect online. So these three things which I want to leave you with are ways in which how you can disconnect and be blessed still by social media. Way number one, balance. Say balance. Don't give up social media. Just do more offline than online. May kilala kayong ganun? Wala siyang ginawa kundi online lagi that their offline relationships are suffering. Pag nasa bahay, nasa sofa, nakahiga, nakaganon, yung family niya nag, nag, nagluluto, etc. Wala siyang ginagawa kung hindi nandun. To the point na nahuhulog yung phone sa mukha niya. Sino na ganun na? Nakatulog na nakaganon. You have to balance your life. Balance your time. Just live life more offline than online. So it's a balanced life versus being so online that doon na mundo mo, and offline hindi ka na nandun. Use your gadgets in the proper time. We talked about this a few talks back. When you're dining with people, put your phones in your wallet, ah, in your wallet, in your, in my pocket. 
Put your phone in my pocket. Put your phones in your pocket, in your bag, and leave it from the table. Last Saturday, my bro- uh, we have some brothers who I pastor, who I care for, my, my light group. And I said, I'm learning from that. Whenever I speak to my wife, wala na yung phone ko sa, sa, ano ko, sa dining table. It's not just because I can see it and look at it, but the mere fact it's there and it buzzes, not attempt kang tumingin eh. So lahat kami nag-gadgets, mamaya may nawawala na yung phone sa, sa coffee table, naging, nag-usap na kami. Speak more. Converse more, mingle more, learn more from one another, relish your connection more, and, and feel loved not through your profile but through your life. Number two, break off more. Say that. One solution is to balance. The second solution is to break off more. Identify the 150 friends in your life. It doesn't have to be friends. Friends, family, etc. Sometimes family. Marami, marami dito, saksakan ang daming kamag-anak na close sila. That's, that's, one of the, that's part of the 150. Connect more with them. Break off from online, from being online, and connect more with them. Another tip, find interest groups of your interest. When I was younger, bago pa lang ang gadgets, may interest group ako sinalihan. It's called Mapalad. It's an interest group of Palm Pilot gadgets. So what is your interest? Are you into bikes? Are you into gadgets? Are you into working out like me? Are you into sports? Go there. Fulfill your, fulfill your, your interest there. Grow with friends of the same enjoyment and enjoy the same things. Go to the feast. Connect more with the feast here, with servants here, with light groups here. And you grow with people who will love you and who will accept you and guide you. Have rituals. Say rituals. Maraming mga girls, they, they, every Friday night, nakikita sila ng barkada nila in their pajamas. And they do nothing every night but just talk to each other the whole night. Okay lang yun. That's a ritual. It's better than being online. Talking, laughing, connecting with one another. By a voice, she's a lady. She says, connection isn't created, let's see that, by things we go get, but by the things we go back to. Let's not be so high-tech in our technology that we fail to be old-fashioned in our values. Let's go back to the values that we used to have. Connecting, talking, laughing, mingling, eating, dining with one another. We might be too high-tech that nakakalimutan na natin na yung old-fashioned values of connecting with one another. Go back to your anchor of connection. Focus on people, not on posts. Connect. This is something that may sting some of you. Focus on your family more than your Facebook. Ouch. Let's see that slide. Focus on your family more than your Facebook. Sometimes we forget our family because the Facebook persona we project is more important to us because it feeds our addiction. But if you'd spend more time instead of working on that and you spend it on your family, you would, your family would be so loving and so blessed. Sometimes, in this is loving, eh? work on that. Spend time there, focus more there. Build your identity more than your Instagram. <laughs> Some people, they want to project who I am in, on Instagram. They build their Instagram profile. Ang ganda. But inside, they're rotting. Their identities are shallow. Their identities are nada. And they project something and they get depressed because people don't like. Alam mo, minsan nagpo-post ka at wala nagla-like. Inisip mo, baka kailang refresh ka, refresh, wala nagla-like. Like ko nga. Tapos unlike, baka may makakita. Like ulit, wala. But you should stand strong on who you really are, on who your identity is. So that Instagram is just an output of what you already are, not who you really are. Your Instagram shouldn't be all you are. It's just a snapshot of who you are. And the real you should shine forth. I have a last video to end with before we stand up and pray. Let's watch this.
Sino guilty sa ganyan? Time to hit the road. Not this weekend, Mom. I'm so sorry. Mayor, are you sure? I feel like I saw you more when you lived in New York. You know, the Kearns are having their barbecue. I think their son is single again. No, Mom. I don't need to be fixed up. Look, I just got home from work and I need to make dinner. I'll call you in the morning, okay? I love you. I love you. putting in the work. Date night is up.
individual. Let's give her a round of applause. Tell the person beside you, live life offline. It's not about the likes. It's not about the posts. It's not about the fakeness. Enjoy life. Celebrate life. Live life offline and experience God's goodness there. Can I invite you to stand? Can I call the team on stage? I said there are three ways in which social media can still bless you. We discussed two. What's the first? Balance. The second is break off more. The third is belief. Say belief. It's all about belief system. A lot of people, they seek affirmation online because they don't get it offline. Online. Eh, sorry. They seek affirmation online because offline, they don't get it from anyone. Your belief system should be so intact that you don't need social media to affirm you, to say that you're worthy of a like. You get this not online, you get this from God. You don't get this online, you get this from on high. Allow God to impact your life, to flow through you His love, so that you receive all you need to grow, to be better, to celebrate life. If you're that lady who has nothing to show or who doesn't have a life because all she does is try to live it online, then break free. And start enjoying friendships, going to the feast, going out, enjoying nature, traveling, going to interest groups. Work on that starting tonight. Amen? Work on receiving God's affirmation in your life, God's goodness. And once you get it from God, you can give that to others. And you can become real, whether you're on social media or in, your, in, in a personal friendship around this is key. Use social media to spread love, not to seek love. Don't post so that you can be liked, so that people can love you there, but use it as it is meant to be, a way to show the world that, wow, there's goodness in this world. There's blessings waiting for all of us. Use it to spread love, to be your, your, your herald, to declare your, God's goodness. Because we don't need social media to assure us. Only God can. We don't need social media to secure us. Only God can. We don't need people's likes. We need our Savior's love. Choose love over likes. Choose love over likes. And connect to your God, especially every Thursday that you come to this feast. Say, Lord, I need more of your love. I need your hug. I feel low. I feel like no one appreciates me. I post because I don't get it. Say, Lord, give it to me. I need your hug. I need your love, not the like. Be a storage of love that eventually gets filled up, that it flows to others, and you start spreading love on social media. Work on your connections offline so that you build friendships that you can laugh together with. You can watch movies with. You can enjoy life and travels with. Let's be high-tech with our gadgets, but old-fashioned with our values of love, of friendship, of joy, of laughter. And so we end with our one big message. Disconnect to deeply connect. Amen? Look away from the screen and see the world around you. Look around and look up. You're a child of God. Amen? You're loved by God. God has a plan for your life. God will fill you up to the overflowing. God will pour His blessings upon you as you seek Him more. And God will fill you up because you are loved. You are blessed. You're already precious in His eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank You for Your message today. We thank You for a whole series, a beautiful four-week adventure that we learned more about Your love for us. And we thank You for social media, Lord, 
because this is our way now where we can spread your love to others. Lord, we pray for those of us who are addicted to these gadgets, addicted to social media. May we find relief from receiving from you our identity, our true nature. Fill us up, Lord Jesus, so that we need not seek affirmation from these things. Because we know that you are, you say that we are yours. And you are our Father. And you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. right now is the like of our God. Receive His hug right now. Let Him whisper to you who you really are. Father God, you are the one who sees the best in me. You are the one who sees the good in me. You are the one who loves me for who I am. Because you are a good, good father. This very moment, this sacred moment, your love is the only thing that matters. Ooh, I am. 
Lord, we surrender to your dreams, Lord, right now. The dreams that we have written in our novena. The dreams that we have written in our mobile app as well, my God. But most important thing right now, my God, is the dreams that we have in our hearts right now, my God. Yes, you are perfect, my God. You know what's best for us, Lord. And oh, Father God, we lift up to you these dreams, Lord God. Even as we wait, Lord, we completely trust in you, Lord God. Because we believe that you are a good, good Father who wants only the best for us. series thank you Jesus there's one other thing that no app can do no online connection can do not nothing yet no FaceTime can do this yet is that is a physical human touch so can you reach out to someone beside you someone who you have a crush on can reach out to someone and just hug someone may they feel love from the father through you Come on, everyone, everyone. I see some people not connecting. Connect, connect. Just spread love around. All right. You can take your seats. Just give the Lord a round of applause. Just a few announcements before we, we set you free. First of all, as I read these announcements, there's a bullet, uh, there's in your bulletin a, an envelope. And those who are blessed tonight and who wants to continue and help us continue this mission, if you can give a love offering, we will really be. Gen, I will really be grateful because that helps us continue loving and leading more people. For the light groups, at the end of the talk, Kanina, there's a light groups discussion starter. Teo, can you see that? We want to flash that part at the end of the talk, the last two slides. For the light groups, those are meeting. Light groups are a group of individuals from this feast who meet outside the feast on a, in a coffee shop in McDonald's under the starry, starry night who talk about the talk and how they're blessed. So this is the discussion starter from this talk. Together, let's read it. Are you addicted to social media? If you didn't admit it, Kanina, you can admit it to one another in your light group. How can you live life offline more? So may you be blessed as you share, as you grow together. Even if you're not, you don't have a light group, after this and you eat somewhere, kung nag-jolly jeep kayo, kung may bukas pa, pag-usapan nyo yung topic na yan. Next week, we begin a brand new series entitled Breaking News. We're going to talk about the Gospels. We're going to talk about the Gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. You'll know next week bakit nauna si Mark. Because normally si Matthew nauna. I love it that the feast is a, uh, helps, you, helps you relate to your religion better. Because it, gives, it breaks it down to how it can affect us. Christianity becomes current at the feast. Your religion becomes relevant at the feast because we break it down into a language that we can relate to directly at work. So we will find out our story according to the Gospels. Amen? So as you prepare your love offering, you can write your prayer petitions there. We do pray for them, don't we? really do. You can write your Thanksgiving um, shout-outs there, and we really thank God with you. So I'll read a few announcements. Let's go to the announcements. First of all, can I see a raise of hands or can those who have come for the first time at this feast to stand up? We will pray for you. First timers, tayo tayo. If you're a first timer, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be prayed for as a first timer because the next time you come, second timer na kayo. 
If you have a first timer in your vicinity, kahit first time sa feast na to, even if you've attended another feast, but if it's your first time in this feast, pakinabangan nyo na yung blessing. Lord, we pray as we lay our hands or raise our hands towards the people, the first timers around us, Lord, we pray for a, a special earth-shaking blessing to come their way. We pray that you bless them with goodness, with peace, with happiness, with good health, and with your love. We pray that the next half of their year would be the best half of their year. And we pray that as they've received your message and your love, they will overflow to others, that they can bless others as well. And we pray that you reserve their Thursdays from now on so we can see them and grow with them together at this home, at this feast. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First timers, please go to this side after the talk. We have a special gift for you at this side at the person raising his hands. Just a few announcements. Next, our outreach ministry has a special activity coming up on August 11. Let's, let's watch this video. Ako po si Milet Arias del Sol. Isa po akong special education teacher dito po sa Napindan Integrated School. Ang hawa ko po ay ang special education program na kung saan ang aking mga uh, tinuturuan ay ang mga batang may kapansana. Um, sa akin pong pagtuturo uh, sa sampung taon, na kita ko po na ang mga batang may kapansanan ay mayroon din pong talento at uh, o kaya ay skill na kung saan kapag nalinang ang kanilang talento o ang kanilang kakayahan, maaari din po silang maging uh, uh, produktibong miyembro ng ating komunidad o ng ating uh, society na kung saan magiging uh, independent po sila sa kanilang pamumuhay at uh, yun nga po, yung sinabi ko na magiging ano sila, produktibong miyembro ng ating uh, komunidad. Ako po si Jen, serving under the Feast Makati Tagig Outreach Ministry. And nandito po tayo ngayon sa Napindan Integrated School kung saan last year po gumawa tayo ng library for the elementary and high school students. This year, napili po ulit namin itong school na to para gumawa ng playground and prayer room for the special education children. Sana po matulungan niyo po ulit kami maging posible ang mission na to. Give the Lord a round of applause. Be a play, playground builder if you want to help us out. If you, because we're all about helping people, helping them, those we, in our area who want, needs to be blessed. If you want to bless us and sorry, bless the people, the kids, go to the outreach table outside, and we will guide you there. Next, we'd like to invite you. The feast has come up with a feast worship um, album and entity. We have a worship concert coming up. It's on August, let's flash that. It's on August, uh, sorry, in September 23, Sunday at Bellevue Hotel in Alabang. Buy your tickets online. It's a feast worship night. Brother Bo Sanchez will be there. The songs in the feast, wor feast worship album will be, wor uh, will be used there and we will bless the Lord and, and worship together there. 500 pesos for your tickets. Go to lightfam.com for your tickets. And if you have not done this yet, especially first-timers, take your phones out. Text your name to the number of your network. If you're a Globe subscriber, text your name to the Globe number, Smart to the Smart number, Sun to the Sun number. And we will inspire you via text from now on. So we will update you, we will text you, we will, we will give you inspiration that you need from now on. If you need someone to pray over you, if you need someone to talk to, go to your left backside. Our pastoral care corner is there and we have friends there who will guide you and help you. If you need someone to take care of you. Next, we're very active online. Even if we say live life offline, we also have an online presence which we can bless you with. So the easiest way to go to our Facebook account, Instagram, Spotify for the songs, etc. is to go to our, face, uh, to our website, feastmakatiligaspi.com. And when you post about tonight, use the hashtag feastmakati, feastmakatiligaspi, and live life offline. Amen? Are you blessed? Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a round of applause again for an amazing night. Would you like the film showing? 
Um, one of my dreams eventually, if I can share, is to make this projector as clear as this projector. So the Lord blessed us with one. If the Lord touches you or if the Lord just really overflows in our lives, we pray that the second one would be also as clear as this first one. Dati ito yung malinaw eh, eh nang bigyan ng ganito. Ngayon malabo na siya. So the Lord will provide, amen? But uh, the most important is, if the Lord has blessed you, may He continue to flow in your life. Can you lift up your love offerings and let's pray for them. Father, we thank you for the ability to give. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because because of your overflow in our lives and our hearts, we flow out, Lord, so that others can be blessed. Lord, we pray, use this amount to bless this your ministry, your kingdom, Lord, so that we can continue to grow and, and continue the journey and continue the mission. And Lord, I pray for a special blessing on those who are giving, those who are giving cheerfully, those who are giving generously. May you bless them to the overflow for all they have given because their your love is abundant in their lives. Lord, as an abundant storm, just flow into their lives even more, Lord, so they can experience your goodness in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Come forward and see you next Thursday. Let's stay connected. Kaya bumalik kayo next Thursday.